All right, in this video, I'm going to do an introduction to the simplex method. And here we're going to have a maximization problem where we have constraints of the form less than or equal to. And, uh, you know, the simplex method is kind of a long process, so definitely going to break this up into a few videos here. Um, but to start off with, let's take an actual concrete, you know, problem here, see if we can't make some sense out of it. So suppose we've got a company and they manufacture different electronic components for computers. Component A takes two hours of fabrication and one hour of assembly. Component B takes three hours of fabrication and one hour of assembly. And component C takes two hours of fabrication and two hours of assembly. Suppose the company has up to 1,000 labor hours to spend on fabrication and 800 labor hours to spend on assembly each week. Suppose we know the profit from each component, A, B, and C, is $7, $8, and $10, respectively. We want to figure out how many of each should be produced to maximize the profit. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is simply um, set up my some inequalities, and from that we're going to set up the simplex tableau, is what it's called. Okay, so the thing we're trying to maximize in this case is going to be our profit. But before we do anything, let's maybe define some variables. So I'm going to let x sub 1 uh, be the number of components of type A. And again, this is what we're trying to figure out. Um, we'll let x sub 2 be the number of components of type B. And we'll let x sub 3 be the number of components of type C. Okay, so in this case, um, we're going to have to backtrack here a little bit. We said the profit, respectively, is $7, $8, and $10. So I can already make an equation. The thing we want to maximize in this case is the profit. And we get $7 per each one of component A plus $8 per each one of uh, the type B. And then I think we said $10 for each one of type C. So if we make x1 of type A, x2 of type B, and x3 of type C, well, we will multiply those respectively by 7, 8, and 10, add them together, and that's the function that we're going to have to, um, to maximize. Uh, for sure, uh, kind of a simple inequality, each one of x1, x2, and x3, all of those are going to have to be greater than or equal to zero. I mean, we've got to make zero or more of each type of component. Now I'm going to set up some more um, some, some constraints here. The first one, I, I'm going to basically re relate uh, the information about the assembly time. Well, I guess we do fabrication first, so it doesn't really matter, but let's keep it in order. So we'll set up an inequality related to fabrication and an inequality related to assembly time. So okay, it says, uh, again, for, for fabrication, we have a 1,000 labor hours for fabrication. Component A takes two hours of fabrication. Okay, so two hours of fabrication. Um, let's see, component B takes three hours of fabrication, and C takes another two hours of fabrication. And again, we've got 1,000 hours to spend on this process. Well, it takes two hours for each one of type A. So we'll take 2 times x sub 1 plus, it says we have 3 hours for uh, component B. So we'll have 3 times x sub 2. And then we'll add to that, we said it takes 2 hours for component C. So we'll have 2 times x sub 3. So this is, if we make again x sub 1 of type A, x sub 2 of type B, x sub 3 of type C, if we multiply them by respectively 2, 3, and 2, add them together, this is how much time we've spent uh, fabricating those components. We said we had at most um, 1,000 uh, hours to spend on this process. So that's going to be another one of our inequalities here. Now for assembly time, we're going to do the same thing. We said for assembly time, we have 800 hours at most. So we'll have a less than or equal to 800 on um, the right side. I put a little comma in there. I don't really need that. So 
800 hours. And let's see if we can't go back here and do the same thing. So component A takes one hour of assembly. Um, component B also takes one hour of assembly. And component C takes two hours of assembly. So again, we can uh, just set up our inequality. We'll have one hour per each one of component uh, type A. We said it takes one hour for each type of component B. So we'll have one times X sub two. And then we said it takes, last but not least, two hours of, um, let's see, excuse me, two hours of assembly for component C. So two times X sub three. And this is now going to be uh, my equation and my inequalities that I'm going to use to set up the simplex tableau. So, all right, in another video, I'm going to introduce some slack variables and actually create this simplex tableau by using these inequalities.